Gabe Bunting? You know, with a cake? Yeah. Bunt cake. Oh, man. I had angel food cake recently. Oh, yeah. Angelic. I like it. Have you never had that before? No, I I have, like, many times, but every time I forget how much I love it. Bro, a little whipped cream strawberries on that bad boy. Ooh. Holy! Damn! Oh, you said it, partner. Holy moly. Got me all sweaty just thinking about that. God damn. <laughs> well, sweaty. I'm saying, I'm saying, I might pick some up after I go home. Like, <laughs> grocery store's on the way. <laughs> Haven't eaten in two days. Angel food cake. No, I ate today. I'm okay. good. I'm good. <laughs> I was just like, wait. <laughs> I'm good. I'm. Anyway, we're back, everybody. Fucking ready to catch a Feebass. The Feebass special that I've been talking about, like, so often in this series. Saul Milo? Saul Milo? Is that what we're naming it? Nah. 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 Alright, we're going way up to the top here, and we're gonna fish every spawn. Wingy. Like, all the way up and down. So, actually, uh, for the sake of the algorithm, you should probably name this episode something about, uh, like, catching Phoebe or how to, because I'm going to give a little bit of a tutorial. Cool. So, uh, if anyone's watching, they want to know how to get Feebass in uh, Pokemon Emerald, this is the uh, definitive guide on YouTube. Subscribe now. Yeah. <laughs> we may not even get it. It's like, this is not the definitive. Yeah. But it worked for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut not and put it there if we don't get it. <laughs> Alright, so waterfall. basically you start at the start of this waterfall here. Uh-huh. Not even the wibble. And you work your way down and you have your... That's like the best odds of getting the Feebass is just checking every single square, making sure you fish something up on every square. Right. And he has a 50% chance of spawning if you get the square. So it's a really good chance if you hit the square. Cool. So all you gotta do is just hit the square. And that's the hardest part. So that's like an exploit? Nope. It's just the way it works. Huh. Weird. So anyway, how's life? You know, since the last like bit that we've been recording here nothing's changed really yeah what since like 20 seconds ago yeah pretty much still chilling two weeks your time 20 seconds our time <laughs> yeah it was two weeks wasn't it yeah because i've been yeah doing it's that. usually an alternating sort of situation well you see and the reason i started doing that was because like people would get bored watching just the same thing for a month straight and i and i and i can understand that if every oh, yeah. week if every week you tune in it's the same fucking thing it's like oh come on now see you could do it weekly if you had the separate days like we used to before but yeah but it, it's it's just, it's just like we don't i have don't want to just I don't want to just do this if, like, I can help it, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I like, I like some diversity in my portfolio to like the streaming and the making the music. Yeah, and... well, because like it, because it never gets boring that way. Yeah. Right. If I'm if I'm if I'm just fucking done doing a certain thing for a day, oh, then it just like. You know. Sorry, this takes a little bit of, like, mental math for me. Yeah, I get you. Just gonna make sure every square gets hit at least once. Yeah. But, it, yeah, it's just, to me, it's like... You know, some, some variance goes a long way in the longevity of all of it, right? If I did just one thing, I would, like... I would do what I used to do. I'd lose, lose focus and then just be like, fuck it, I'm done, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, better to stay centralized. Yeah, although I don't know how, I don't know how it's going to get affected, like, with more work, because, like, as more work comes into play, that's, like, this, this is, like, primary focus always. Yeah, you've always kind of made this your main thing. 
it's that kind of thing that if I had to sacrifice everything else, like if and I could only have one, it would be this. Yeah, right? I like, get that. This is the thing. Well, there's so like ten years of your fucking life has gone into this. You can't give this up, dude. Yeah, you know, like like I've dabbled in everything else, but like. There's so much here. If it was just, like, one day all gone, that would really suck. That's always the thing that I worry about, like, one day Google's servers just explode. And just, it's all gone. I'd be like, yo. Part of that, like, you'll own nothing and you'll enjoy it sort of fucking speak, you know? Yeah, well, it's like, fucking Krillin hits a solar flare and blows up every fucking electronic on planet Earth. Damn it, Krillin. <laughs> That's why Frieza killed your ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, it's just, um... It's just bummy to think that at one point this could all just disappear. That would be scary. Yeah. I mean, if it happened like that, that's some, like, hardcore shit, right? Because, like, the backups on backups, if all the backups of backups are gone, that's a problem. No, yeah. Like, we're post-apocalyptic shit if that kind of stuff's happening. No, I didn't get one on the square. That's a bit of an exaggeration, I realize, but... I'd be pretty bummed out. I'm getting feeb. That, that would make me quit, I think. If this all, like... If, if this all went away, what would be problematic is if, like, the world got hit by something like that you could not help. And it was just like, cool, Google doesn't exist anymore. You're like, yo... <laughs> No, uh, I'm. It, I feel like we'd have bigger priorities if something like that happened. Do you know what I mean? No, but I mean like if things restabilized and went oh. back to normal, I'd be like, no. We like, go in there it's like it's all heist. gone. That's like that's a that's a very fond memory, but that's about as far as it goes from there. We all roll in like a heist and fucking take back our fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. We know you have the servers. Give them back. <laughs> yeah. We know where you sold them to NASA for ten dollars. Yeah, NASA's watching our Let's Play. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I it, it that's one of the interesting things about like our growing audience is thinking like who could possibly be watching. Yeah, the future Prime Minister of Canada could be watching right now. I hope not, man. That would be rough. This country would be in the shitter. Let me shake your hand. Like, you're saying you grew up on our stuff? Like, oh god. I think I would probably cringe into a million pieces if I heard that. Speaking of cringing into a million pieces, not, not, not that. Not that anyone would watch our stuff like that. I just feel like if, like, a, an important public figure was, like... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, like a, you know, like a seating member of the royal family or, like, someone from our government was, like... Those Laugh Law Gamers guys. Hilarious. I'd be like, kill me, dude. I'd lose my mind laughing. Because <laughs> well, I'd be like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> like, What's up, Queenie? Fucking, yeah. <laughs> It's like, what fucking horse shit, man? <laughs> There's no way. Tentadrool. Hey, look at that. What am I looking at? Mm. <laughs> Von Album. Von Album? <laughs> it's almost here. Yo. What is? Oh, you're... My, uh... Your my, signed... my, my, my signed Sky Hill... Ah, uh, were you one of the people that was affected by the, uh... Yeah. Oh. Uh, I was one of the people. That's brutal. Their, uh, their merch company unexpectedly shut down, and everyone who placed an order, they were just like, Oops! Yeah. Fuck you! I'm totally, I'm totally gonna, like, buy other merch to sort of, like, compensate for that lost money, because, like, I just I can't of... believe they lost all that money. Oh, dude. Well, like, I can, but it's like, fuck. That's, that... That That's a nightmare. That company, the people who are running it are fucking losers, man. Any advice to anyone? How we cut and run with the money, because fuck debt. And it's like, yo. If you can do it in-house, do it in-house. I know they're a lot bigger of a band and everything, so they need that shit. But all I'm saying is stuff like that makes me go, I'm glad that my merch for my band is done in-house. 
Lucky. Because I that would break my heart to see all that money go away. Yeah. Did you guys never think about getting one press just so you can have it on the wall? Uh, it's really expensive. Like for one? Yeah. How much? Uh, it's like 250 or 300 bucks just to do the, um, uh, the mold of your Oh, lineup. okay. And then they have to press the one, but they do a minimum order of like, it's like 50 or 100 or something. Fuck eh? So you have to get like the minimum order. So it was expensive. Yeah. The yeah. best, best advice I heard actually was recently by this fucking guy called Bacon Bits on Instagram. <laughs> he's, he's fucking talking about like music industry shit yeah and he, he had the best way of describing this actually and it was if you want to do vinyl records go to your bank account take out four thousand dollars and hold it in your hand and that's what it's like to print vinyl records for your band because that's gone because it's just gone it's yeah. just four thousand dollars sitting there the band that i do the merchandise that i like sell merch for uh-huh we haven't sold any records but like, they're printed? They have printed records, yeah. We've barely sold any. Like, maybe five. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, it really is like... I mean, it's a the niche CDs a niche. The CDs barely sell, for fuck's sakes. I got two boxes on them. I got a box, like, that's not even open. What size boxes are they? Fucking, like... Decent size. You're talking your guys' album. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've gone through, like... We sell at the local record shop in town, and we've sold one drop of ten, and then like maybe a couple more, and then we sold like so, like we we're lucky what's, to have. What's made, his cut off of that? The guy who owns the shop. We get it all. We oh. know the promoter. Oh, cool. It's the woman who does the promotion for the shows around, and she. Uh, Sweet. I've known her for years. Uh, the boys in the band have known her for years. And so it's that's she, cool. Oh yeah, she's she's great. So yeah, if you go into the, you know the record shop in town that I'm talking about, right? Where where I live. Mall. I would need some reminder. But mall. In the on, mall. On not not big mall, shit mall, shit mall further further I, down. I think so. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Well, I guess I could say Sunrise Records. I can say because it it's a chain. Yeah, yeah. But she's the franchisee of that one? Uh, either that or the manager. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they're, if they're she's cool the manager, how does she get away with that one? Because they're cool with it. Oh, they're just... Yeah. Whatever. They don't sell that many of them. And a lot of the times, the people involved in that shit are just like... They love local music, and they come to the shows and stuff. So cool, cool. they're down to support that shit. My old, It's funny. My new CD is right next to my the CD of my old bands. That's funny. The, what, like, like like the EP they that they did with you or no not with me but like there it's like there's their record then my record's right next to it and I'm like huh <laughs> funny <Weird. laughs> funny but not haha funny like what the fuck funny <laughs> I bled for you guys funny I'm gonna kill you funny no <laughs> fuck. nah. But not funny, haha. Ha. Funny, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the, a lot of people around here really just want to support because it's so difficult to be like any type of creative type. Yeah. Well, I mean, fuck around here, dude. Man, if you don't like work every waking second of your life, everyone around here is like. The fuck is wrong with you? Why aren't you chasing the bag? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Like you could. Because the bag was an illusion created by the man. You're all working so much because you owe money on car payments and debts and a bunch of other shit that you're pretending doesn't exist but clearly does. <laughs> Why do I not have to chase the bag? Because I'm not in as much debt as you, I guess. <laughs> you think this is what fishing for reels like? Where you just sit here and catch nothing and then just talk? Oh, man. That must be fishing. Of course. That is what it is. Like, I've caught eight squids. Do we have enough balls? Yeah. Yeah, I just went to store. Okay. I was just thinking that. He's I'm got like, a really low capture rate, too. Yeah, yeah. Or a high capture rate, so he'll, like... I'll throw one Pokeball, he'll go in the fucking ball. Without even fucking healing him. Like, I won't even have to take him down. Just throw a ball at him. 
Oh, you just get him because he's stinky initially? Yeah. That's good. That's one of... That's like Magikarp. I mean, like, Magikarp's literal fucking trash until oh, it yeah. evolves. So I, I guess that makes sense. I'll be real happy if we can actually manage to get this thing. Oh, yeah. Same. It's going on the team. It will be replacing Gyarados with it very quickly. Oh, yeah. Not understandable. Just no. all-around stats are better, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Bulky as fuck. My Lotix was... My Lotix was on my comp team. I'm probably going to swap her out, but... Or, I haven't run a single comp battle this year, though. <laughs> I'm shaking my head with the burps, man. Forgive this man, he's gaseous Ono. I'm feeling better, though. Like, I don't oh, feel like good. I need to vomit so much like I did at the beginning of this session. That's good. Vom bad. Yeah. Vom yucky. Rip Von Pukey. Rip Von Pukey. Fucking wrong fish. Fucking Gary Dose over here. <laughs> Gary Dos? Like, yeah, two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I've made that joke so many times. <laughs> Fuck. It's old now, Kyle. Shut up. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where's my fishy? Fishy. Not even a Bible. Not even a Bible. <laughs> Not even the Lord could save this fish. Man. So How like, many Magikarps can you see? Count them. One. If it's one tile, it's not one tile in it's the like whole four. game, is it? It's like four. Really? Yeah. That's so dumb. It's like... You gotta remember, I'm a shiny hunter, so I got the patience for this. I Yeah, it's just dumb. Fucking four squares in the whole game. I'm not gonna lie. This episode, not gonna be the greatest on views. <laughs> Probably not. You'll probably they just were skim expecting a tutorial, and then it's just like fucking ten years of us sitting there. This is the tutorial. This is it. I'm doing it. <laughs> How go catch up and down bass. and surf every tile and fish every tile. That's the only way to get them. But if we want to make this let's play stand out, if we want to make this let's play a must watch in the YouTube meta. We gotta catch them. And before we even get the other two badges, Insano style. Do you want to be a Pokemon Master, or do you want to be Ash Ketchum? Season Yo! One? What did I say? <laughs> what did I fucking say to you? The timing of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm a fucking genius. I'm a fucking goddamn boy genie. Look at this. Is boy genie? Kobe. <laughs> All oh. right. <laughs> Way to make me look like an idiot, like... It's a high catch rate. <laughs> it is a high catch rate. I've actually never had this happen. On my Sapphire version, I caught fucking, like, ten of them with Pokeballs. Like, no one has False Swipe, do they? No, we're good, though. But, okay, yeah. We're gonna catch a few of them, too. Just because we're here now, we know the tile. So uh -huh. we catch a few and figure out what one's got the best nature. Uh-huh. Because that's how you evolve them, believe it or not. Alright, so, first Feebass's nickname. How do you evolve it in this one? Um, uh, beauty. Pokeblox. I got you. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, I got you. Because I'm like, it's like a trading thing. Nope. In... Not in this one. Okay, okay, good, good. Pick a name. Any name. D dude, the one I came up with was a fucking stinky. What, stinky? No. Just You pick something. I'm, I'm naming stinky. Oh, okay. It's all stinky? Oh. No, just stinky. Huh? You're like, enough of the Saul, man. All right, so we know it's this tile right here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find a Feebas, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Impressed? I, Josh, are we impressed? You know what I'm going to have to do, though, is, like, cut up a short of, like, the tutorial. <laughs> yeah. You want to fish around? You want to go around in all the blocks, and then you find one, and it's 50-50, you know? Yeah. It'll be good. Good content. Right there. See? Like, we're just talking. Good content. Actually, we weren't just talking about that. We talked about it on the way over. Bam. Actually, I'm gonna save. Strong. I'm just gonna, like, low-key save. Bam's mom's having a strong call of bondulence. <laughs> Have you seen that? What are you fucking saying to me right now? You haven't seen that? No. I love that one. <laughs> yeah. 
Phoebe. Her name is Nons having a strong call of bonjolence. All right, I gotta grab my cellular device and figure out what natures are the good ones. Uno momento, I'll be back. Uh. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> if you thought it was mildly amusing when I did it, there's no way you weren't gonna laugh at the real thing. <laughs> Maiden's non. <laughs> <coughs> is it N O? What is it? Bames non. You've got it right. Was I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Was it N O? N O N D. N O N D. Yeah. Bames non. Bames having non. a strong <laughs> call of bondulence. <laughs> pull up the natures here. And I pull up. Okay, I pull up. Sorry, folks. Googling I, things. I poo up. Don't no sat me down. Easy there. We're sharing a space. No need to poo up here. <laughs> You want to end the friendship? You want to end it right now? That's how you do it. You poo up right now. <laughs> what is even that? What? It, I would assume it would be just. I can't believe I right said there. that just now. What the hell is even that? Daddy, chill. Yeah. Oh, a female. It's funny because it's like the eyes look like fake eyes, and the nose looks like little angry eyes. <laughs> 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 what an ugly fish. <laughs> the sound it makes is so funny, too. Blah. Blah. All right. It's fine. I already got Imagine two Imagine Ash ever got a fucking Feebass and fucking... He'd probably just release it like a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need this. This is shit. I don't want Lapras. Fuck it. Like, yo. <laughs> you know this Pokemon... You know this Greninja that I got that I, like, bonded with and became super strong with? Yeah, see you later. Unique fucking power up. Nah. Yeah, exclusive literally to the two of them. Yeah. No. Alright. What are we naming this one? Beams Jeans. Beams Jeans? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really beams. Beams Jeans. Oh, that's Jean. Beams Jeans. Beams Jeans. There we go. Alright, let's go check these. Okay, so I know... Okay, I got a good visual where it is, I can tell. Yeah. At the very least, if you get it wrong. We got three of them, we're good. Yeah. I can fuck it up three times, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... Yeah, because it's nothing in this game in particular to change their nature. It just is what it is. It just right? is what it is. So we got a bold, we got a serious, and we got a sassy. Sass. So I am looking for... Doesn't tell me. What the fuck? Yeah, it must get its beauty to a rating of 170 and grow a level. Um, okay, but like, what type of nature's good? Uh, bold and calm. I have bold. Bold is one of them. Stinky! Stinky. Stinky! Stinky winky. Yo, let's go. Um. Yeah, so you said bold is... I, I'm seeing bold and modest. Yeah, that makes sense because they would probably Yeah, fuck. bold bold, calm and modest. Beautiful. Okay. So Stinky here is gonna be the one that gets used eventually. We're not using him yet. Cause that's gonna like that's like a whole thing. I will show people how to do that another time. But we got him. Bottom line, that's off the fucking checklist. Nice. Is we have him and we can get the Milotic for the end of the game. Yeah. Beep. That is a big mom. <laughs> big mom. That's big mom. 
<laughs> Big Mama back. She's back with a vengeance. She died. Sad. <laughs> the look you're giving me is like, she did. Like, I can't, I'm not bringing her back. <laughs> it's not up to me. <laughs> well. Are we at the end already, Josh? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's okay. We're going to Lily Cove City next. E On to boy. further our adventure with the homies, including Bee's Knees, Fire Chicken, Qbert, Disabilize, Gyarados, which we call Gary Dose, but, you know. And uh, Zzz Chicken. Hopefully next time we get Qbert to evolve. And then, ooh, actually, you know what? We give him Sooth Bell. I think I have that. Oh, right, because that increase that like increases the amount of friendship points it gets. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think I have it on me. It's probably in the box or something. Anyways, oh. not important. End of episode, correct? E. Yeah. Said. End of episode. Yeah, next time. Next time. Next time on Laugh A Lot Squeamers. Ooh. Ah. I mean. Ugh. Squeamers. Laugh. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye bye. That was actually a fucking excellent session.